Hi there, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If this is your first time here at one of my videos, I hope you like and subscribe and check out the um, readings for the signs in your chart. If you are one of my subscribers who's here to check out what a cusp is, um, thanks for checking it out. I'm going to use this video um, as a referral video going forward. So I'm gonna also start in the beginning with a disclaimer, continuation of, discl of the disclaimer on my cover photo. This topic isn't for everybody. I really don't want or need anybody coming for me. Cusps don't exist! Cause that's what it's like on Facebook and any astrology group. That's okay, that's okay. Just, you do you, and I'ma do me, and if this doesn't vibe with your, if this doesn't jive with your vibe, my man, that's okay. You just find your path. If you wanna hear what I have to say, I greatly appreciate your positivity and your thumbs up and your support. So, this is a video on cusps. <clears throat> I'm, this is me peeking in the door of starting to do the other cusps and just talking about what it is because um, the Gemini Cancer cusp readings on this channel have undoubtedly made are my highest viewers and have made this channel grow exponentially. So as my friend would say, you got to give the people what they want. And I've had some questions about cusp, other cusps and I feel sadly like it's a taboo topic like I'm not supposed to talk about this because really people get very about there's no cusps it's you gotta read your chart like okay all right settle down now so there are the the cusps are for me the same dates between like the 17th and the 23rd they kind of encompass the very end of one sign and the very beginning of the next sign so in essence it's supposed to be people born when the seasons are when the zodiac seasons are changing that they born on under this small little umbrella exhibit different qualities than just their sun sign and or exhibit qualities that are of the two. I'm born June 20th at 1048 p.m. Now, if I was born at 12.01 a.m., what is that, an hour and 12 minutes later, 13 minutes, 14 minutes later, I would have been marked at, and made noted zodiacally as a cancer and when I started really getting into astrology I remember thinking like it just cuts off like with our calendar and like following by our clocks too and then starting I started to view the changing of a season zodiac season as a period that is like crossing in between a doorway I think that I've heard it described that way as well but you are in one place here and then you're getting to that place over there the cusps are the people who are born during the and then you're getting over there does this make sense literally the threshold from one to the other this is how I view it these are my views. Um, so, following like we would have air signs, water signs, fire signs, and earth signs, there are air and water cusps, water and fire cusps, fire and earth cusps, and earth and air cusps. It follows the succession succession so you're not going to get a fire 
air cusp because they don't go that way, okay? The Aquarius Pisces cusp. I'm a visual person, so I'm gonna put these dates in the description, but the Aqua Pisces, um, well, first I'm gonna list the air and water. These are people that fall between an, the air sign changing into a water sign. It's the Aquarius Pisces cusp, that's from February 17th to February 23rd. The Gemini Cancer Cusp, that's June 17th to June 23rd. The Libra Scorpio Cusp, that's 10, uh, October 17th to October 23rd. Now, there are Water and Fire Cusps. Water sign into a fire sign. Pisces Aries Cusp, that's March 17th to March 23rd. The Cancer Leo Cusp, that is July 17th to July 23rd. The Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp, that's November 17th to November 23rd. And then we have the Fire and Earth Cusps, fire sign going into Earth. Aries and Tor the Aries Taurus Cusp, that's April 17th to April 23rd. The Leo Virgo Cusp, that's um, August 17th to August 23rd. And the Sagittarius Capricorn Cusp, that goes from December 17th to December 23rd. And then lastly, you have the Earth and Air Cusps. That's Taurus Gemini Cusp, May 17th to May 23rd. Virgo Libra Cusp, September 17th to September 23rd and Capricorn Aquarius cusp, um, January 17th to January 23rd. Um, so, if you wanna let me know if you fall in, under one of those, let me know. Um, each cusp has a different name if you Google astrology cusps, there's like stuff, images that come up that say the names of each of them. The books that I've mentioned before on the channel and really taught me about the different, um, de I wanna call them declans, de de declans, de decans. I bet you I'm saying it wrong, the decans. Gemini 1, Gemini 2, Gemini 3. Learning that um, the signs are chunked within the sign. So Gemini 1 falls from this date to this date. Gemini 2 falls from this date to this date. Gemini 3, I just read this like, I might have been June 11th to the 20th, but like I'm on the last one, Gemini 3. <clears throat> these the birthdays relationship book I just googled it and it's the secret language of birthdays um I hope you can see that you can go into any typical big store and find the book and read it right there but these books have a world of information holy freaking shit everything they are big huge books they're probably going to cost you an arm and a leg at this time but they are have a world of information in them and um i feel like that was a part of me um understanding the cusps too or looking at cusps and um if you just think about the signs too, like air and water, that sounds like someone who's gonna be able to be communica communicative and um, do a lot of thinking as well as good with their emotions and or be intuitive. Water and fire, my first thought when I think of a water fire sign is someone who gets very mad, emotionally mad and may have outbursts or anger like crying there's no truth I don't know if that's truth to it but I'm just thinking these 
This is what I think. A fire and earth, that's someone who likes to physically fight. Physically fight fire and earth or is very, very sexual, hands-on, all about touch. Earth and air. Earth and air. You know what I was going to say? Um, really smart with money. Um, Jeffrey Epstein was a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. I think his birthday was born the 18th. And I think I was so like, ah ha ha! Because I knew someone born that time period too. So you'll have to let me know if you fall during those, uh, any one of those cusps. I used to know, well I do know, a Libra Scorpio. I know two Libra Scorpio cusps. And there, there isn't like a science per se to this. Um, I will say when I met the first Libra Scorpio cusp I met, I was like, oh my gosh, you're the first other air water cusp I've ever met in my life and to this day I will tell people and do tell people that the connection I had with him felt very different than anybody else at the same time I know a female yeah it was a red flag at the um, same time I know a female who has the same uh, birthday area in the cusp and she and I just haven't um, connected or don't have the same connection that I had with him and their birthday is off by a day um, so stay tuned I think I'm gonna start with very short cusp readings if you're interested in that I'd love to hear that as well um, as always, though, check out the complete birth chart. You can Google it, um, free astrolabe birth chart, and it will come up. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for what I do next with these cusps. And um, as always, stay happy, healthy, and well.